What's up everyone, it's day 13 of Inktober, so I hope you've been able to keep up. In today's video, we're drawing Mega Gengar from Pokemon. Let's get started in the center of our page with the upper eyelid. So we're going to leave a gap right in the center. Go to the left side, we're going to draw a straight angled line. Going up, and then out. And we want to line this up on the right side and do the same thing. Drawing that same length line. And then we'll go back to the inside and curl up the brow. Starting on the left, curve in, and then up. Go to the right and do the same thing. Let's tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid, leaving an overlap on the outside and the inside. So starting on the left, we're going to step in, draw a half circle. Coming all the way around, down towards the bottom, and then up. And then we'll add two small half ovals on the inside of the eyes for the pupils. Let's start on the left side. And down towards the bottom, and back up, go to the right side, come down to the same height, and then back up. And then we'll trace these ovals along the inside, stepping in, come around towards the bottom and up. And then we'll fill that center oval in black. Now we're going to move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. Let's start all the way over on the left side, just underneath the eye. Curve down the middle, round up the mouth, and then go back up on the right. Now we're going to go back over towards the left side and draw the bottom of the mouth. Starting out here, just going to bring that down a little bit lower in the middle, round up the mouth, and then go back up. Now we're going to go in and separate out the teeth. Starting right in the middle, let's start with one straight line. And then we'll add two more lines on either side. Stepping over, draw one, and then two. Do the same thing over on the right. Now we're going to move out and draw the lower half of the head. From the left eye, we're going to step out and draw a large half oval. I'm just going to come down underneath the mouth, round up the chin, and go out and up on the right. Now we're going to layer the arms in behind the side of the head. From the left side, we're going to step down. It's going to curve the arm going out and then down. Line this up on the right side and go out and down. Let's add those large spikes along the back of the arm. Starting on the left, curve out, up, and then hook that in. And now we're just going to taper that back out towards the outside. Going out, and then down. Let's add another spike. Starting back on the left, going up, and then hooking that in. Let's go back to the inside and add another spike. Going up, and in. And we'll taper that back down. And then the last spike along the inside is going to curve up. Come in and then up. Now the end of the arm looks like a large half oval with an open gap along the bottom. So let's start at the very top. Curve out. Come down. I'm just going to pull that into right about there. Let's do the same thing over on the right. We'll go out. Come down. And then in. And we'll go to the inside of the arm, curve in the opposite direction. I'm going to come down, out, and we'll leave a little gap along the bottom. And now we'll tuck the hands in underneath the forearms. From this line, we're going to step in, curve the thumb, coming in, and then down. Now from the tip of the thumb, we're going to curve up and then down towards the first finger. Let's go back to the left side and curve the finger point up and then in. And then we'll add one more finger. Starting at the top, curve out and then down. Now it's gonna tuck that back in underneath the forearm. Going up and then in.
Now from the side of the head, we're gonna step up and follow that same curve, going out and then down in behind the forearm. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping up, curve out, and then down. And then we'll angle the side of the head going up towards the tip of the spikes. Let's start on the left side. Going up in a straight line, towards the tip. Let's go to the right and do the same thing. Going up and out. Just wanna bring that up to the same height. Let's add some thickness to the spikes. Starting back on the left, curve in. Just gonna bring that down to right about there. Let's line this up on the right side, go up and bend that out. And now we're gonna add one more spike in the center. Starting on the left, draw a straight angle line, going up towards the center, and then bring that down on the right. Let's add two more spikes in behind. Starting on the left side, angle up and out, line this up on the right side, and then we'll come down and out in behind the head. Now I'm gonna move back to the center of the forehead and draw in a large circle. Starting right in the middle, go all the way around towards the bottom, and then bring that back up towards the top. And then we'll add a smaller circle right in the middle. And then we'll fill that in black. Now let's move down and tuck the legs and the feet underneath the body. We're going to start over on the left side, curve the leg going out, down. I'm just going to pull that in. Let's line this up on the right side, going out, bend that down, and then in. And then we'll tuck the feet in underneath. We're going to step out, angle down and out. And we'll come in and up in a short line. Let's add two more toes, coming down and out. Pull that back up. And I'll add one more toe, coming down and out towards the tip. Now before we draw on the bottom of the feet, let's draw the inside edge of the leg. From this point, we're gonna step over, curve in and up underneath the body. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping in, curve in, and then bend that up and we'll curl the bottom of the feet underneath the leg. Starting back on the left, curve in, and just tuck that up underneath the inside of the leg. Do the same thing on the right. And that's pretty much it. There's Mega Gengar from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.